Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. We're starting the Busybody quilt today. So if you want to see how to make the units for our quilt, please stay tuned. I'm excited to start this quilt along today. I anticipate this to be um, something that lasts either three or four weeks uh, because it's not very hard to put together. This is the Busybody quilt pattern. I'm going to put a picture of the first quilt that I made with this pattern um, up in the video right here. Um, and I really like the way that it turned out. I love the contrast of it. I love that this quilt is beginner friendly um, and it's pre-cut friendly. So the first step to making this um, quilt would be to choose your fabrics. I did do a video about choosing fabrics, so uh, I'll link that below in the description so you can check that out. I've already cut out all of my um, pieces for this quilt. Again, it is pre-cut friendly, so uh, when you check the pattern, you can use um, jelly rolls and uh, honey buns, which are, the jelly rolls are two and a half inch strips, honey buns one and a half inch strip, and you can use a five inch square charm pack. Um, for this one, I did not use pre-cuts. Pre I've actually cut all of my fabric, so I have the five inch squares here, and I have my one and a half inch squares, which are the, um, the green and then I have two sets of two and a half inch squares, I mean uh, strips because I ran out of this one, but there's a whole ton of it right here. And then uh, just a few extra strips to, uh, to make what I needed. If you check the pattern out carefully, on the second page, there are instructions for four sizes. So make sure you check that out and see um, how many of each thing you're gonna need. I'm going to make the twin um, quilt. So, um, you know, I already cut everything out. Um, I did talk a little bit about the uh, Paw Patrol fabric in my other video. Um, this is, these were fat quarters that I was gifted. And so I cut those up along with some um, other fabrics that I had just to fill out the look of the quilt. Um, now, Let's talk about the unit. Okay, here's the unit. It's really simple. It's the five inch square and then two strips of one and a half, two strips of two and a half. And we're gonna go over, um, I'll give you some little points and uh, tips to help with making these blocks. I've only made like five or six completed blocks, um, but it's really simple. It can be done doing um, chain piecing. So let me take a second because there are a few things that we need to look out for. I've pulled all of my um, five inch squares here. And the first thing that you need to think about before you start putting this quilt together is you need to decide um, if you're gonna have borders, you need four um, blocks for cornerstones. So I just pull these they can be the same fabric or they can be um, different fabrics. For my four, I just happened to, to do four of the same. So these are going to be my cornerstones for after I get the quilt finished. Now I just left them separated by putting a pin in here. And so whenever I get to these, if they're all together, I know that I can't use them in making my block unit. Another thing is... Um, if you want to have a right side up to the quilt, I like to have um, a quilt that ha where I know which way is the top of the quilt. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I've also pulled a fabric that is going to always be right side up in the quilt. And that is important because as we get ready for the first step, which I'm going to show you in a minute, um, you need to do a variety of... Um, ways on that first strip to make sure that you have a right side up. So I've already pulled all of these and some of them happen to be like this one, it looks fussy cut. This one kind of looks fussy cut, but it doesn't really uh, matter. I just need to know that these are gonna be right side up in the quilt. 
So make sure before you start anything, make sure you have your cornerstones. Make sure you know which piece is always going to be right side up. That is not important right now, but when we get ready to put the blocks together in the next video, um, that's going to be important for you. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the first step of this process. I moved the camera. I don't really like to sew on camera, but I think it's important, especially with this uh, with this first step, that I show a little bit of how we do this. I'm just gonna take um, my one and a half inch strip. I do have a quarter inch foot on this machine. Um, the the seam allowance does not matter. It just needs to be consistent uh, because you will be cutting and uh, putting everything back together. Okay, so um, I have my one and a half inch strip. I'm just gonna place my five inch square right sides together. And this machine is not um, computerized, so I'm kind of holding that back thread. And you're just gonna sew your normal quarter inch seam. And you can chain piece these until you have uh, the total number of squares that you need. Now, the reason I'm doing this on camera is because I do want to show um, how, since this is my right side up fabric, I do want to just show you that you need to alternate the direction that you put these on this first strip. So the first one, it is right side up. The next one, here's right side up. I'm going to turn it. And this is so you can get some variety um, in the placement of these in the when we make the block. So this is not for um, right now, it's for the next step that we're thinking about, thinking ahead a little bit to get to that next step. And I'm not really sure how many of these um, I have, but I'm gonna stitch these first because I need to make sure that I'm thinking about that instead of just grabbing them randomly. Okay, so here's the third one. Since that one was this way, I'm going to give it one more turn for the next one. Okay, and I like chain piecing these. And if you wanted to, you could measure five by one and a half inch strips and blah, blah, blah. But I'm not doing that. Okay. And then I'm going to do the last one on camera just so we can get all four directions here. So... I've done top, this way, that way, and then I'll do, this is the last direction. And then, um, you know, of course, depending on how many you have, uh, you would just keep alternating those directions for these. For the other ones, it doesn't matter. For me, this is the only one that I'm concerned about it being right side up. So it doesn't matter the direction that the other ones are going when it comes to making the box. And so what you'll do is just continue to go down the strip and see I still have probably enough for maybe three more um, and then add more strips until you get all the um, all of the blocks done. I have the the um, one and a half inch strip stitched to my five inch squares and I just want to take a second to show how I cut these apart. You can um, cut them apart with scissors if you like. I prefer to use my ruler and my rotary cutter. So what I'm going to do is just take my ruler and I'm lining up one of the lines with the line of stitching and kind of keeping it, trying to kind of keep it even with this other side and cutting it. And I have the camera here between my arms so that's going to be kind of a challenge but I just want to show it okay if it's not perfect I'm not really concerned about that um, because I think I'm going to have to do some squaring up later so I'll do this side again putting my ruler putting one of the lines on the ruler just along that line of stitching to hopefully give me um hopefully put it even okay so you can see that so I'm almost done with these. This is what it, it looks like, and I'm going to press it out so that, um, oh, I'm pressing out towards the strip. So I'm going to finish that up, and then we'll go with the next step. We're ready for the next stage 
on the quilt and the steps are all the same from here on out it's basically um uh on the strip right side together stitch a quarter inch and then press toward the strip um the main thing is that for this step we want to make sure that your five inch square is at the top of your unit all right so like so uh oh pull 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 Oh, I have to be careful. Um, here's a, a little tip. Uh, be mindful that your um, your sewing machine may try to eat the beginning of your fabric. So if you can, use a leader ender. Um, that is another little project that you might be working on. Okay, so. Or um, what I should have done is pull the threads back as I was stitching. So I'm going to try that again. Except this time I'm going to kind of keep a hold on these threads as they come. Normally, again, I wouldn't even be stitching on camera at all. But all of these can be good tips for you to use. So, here I go. Wait. Just holding on to the threads so that they don't, so that your piece doesn't go down into the, um, the throat of the machine. Alright, now the five inch square should be right side up. And I'm still going to hold on to these threads for just a little bit to make sure it catches it. Perfect. And so um, I'm going to do this same thing for every single um, unit that I've started. And then I'll um, I'll press to the outside and show you the next step. I do need to uh, let you know the pieces that are that you set aside for the cornerstones. These are included in your fabric measurements on the pattern, so you won't have to cut what the pattern says and then four extra. These four are included in that. So let me finish this step and I'll show you what's next. Here's my progress so far on the um, Busybody quilt units. Some of these I already have both um, sides of this first round completed. Uh, if you look here, you'll see the um, this just has the first half of it done, and so I, I'm still working on that. If you look closely at the um, how they're pressed, you'll see that they're pressed toward the sashing, and we're going to continue that for the next step. Now, from this point, we're going to um, get ready to add on some two and a half inch strips. And I actually made two different patterns of the two and a half inch strip. One is the checkerboard, and most of the fabric is this uh, checkerboard. But then I also made a few of these uh, solid blacks because I ran out of the checkerboard. Uh, for this one, I'm going to do the check the um, the black fabric as my um, sashing with this one, and I'm going to stitch along the first side that we did. So I'm going to turn these right sides together and then I'm going to stitch that quarter inch seam again down the side. Again, um, chain piecing and what my goal is that for these that already ha that have the black as one, I'm going to finish those in black as well. So if it like both of the uh, this round will be the same fabric and then uh, the same for the other ones as much as possible i might have to do a little bit of mixing up but i'm going to try and go ahead and get through this black fabric first and then whatever i can get done with that is fine so i'm gonna um i'm gonna do a few of these um and then i'm gonna come back and show you the next step here is the last step for the um the unit for this quilt so here is the first um first part of the second round uh, again this is the other fabric so now i'm going to stitch along the right side um i'm going to turn this 
just like the first time so that my um, five inch square is at the top and then stitch it uh, right sides together with that quarter inch seam and here you can see these are some that have the um, the both of the blocks and or both of, both of the strips in the first round done so I'm going to actually chain piece I'm going to start with this one and so this will be the last block that I sew for or last strip that I sew on this unit but it'll be the first strip that I sew on the next units okay so you know you can chain piece these any way you want just as long as you uh, just make sure that you get all the rounds covered I'm just um, for the sake of the video I'm not gonna do all um, however many of these I need at once I'm just gonna um, get this one done so I can show it to you but in order not to not waste the fabric I'm just going to go ahead and add the other pieces that need to go on it. All right, so I'm going to finish this. Again, I'm going to um, cut it using my ruler, my rotary cutter, and then press toward the strip, and we'll see what they look like finished. I have a few of the finished units right here. I'll show them. Um, these are a couple that have the uh, checkerboard in the background. And then these are a couple that have that black fabric. And I like the way that the individual units are coming out. So I think that I'm going to really love um, putting these together in the blocks. Uh, if you have questions about this, um, about this unit, please leave them below. You can uh, get your pattern. I'll put the link in the, um, in the description. Um, and please join us. We're going to be um, working on this probably for the next three to four weeks to get the top all finished. Um, if you are working on this with us, you can post your uh, pictures at the Purple Quilt group on Facebook. I'd love to see them. We can um, support each other, and I just want to see what you guys are coming up with for this um, quilt. Uh, please share this video with your friends, thumbs up this video, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!